Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two summer DIYs and I have been inspired and before each of the two DIYs I will show you what and who inspired me. So stay tuned for this. For my DIY number one, I found this tic-tac-toe tray very inspiring, the combination of the two. I will leave a link to this page in my description box. So I have these palette wood boards that I will be using for my tray. And I start out by cutting them to size. I will have three at the length of uh, 60 centimeters and uh, two at the width of the three that is around um, 22 centimeters now it's done and i just want to lay them out for you and uh, show you what i'm aiming for and then i have to handles from my sister-in-law she gave them to me when she was remodeling her kitchen so it would look like that i like it next thing sanding i take my electric sander and sanding off all edges back and front all pieces Then it's time to stain my pieces and I use a natural oak wood stain and you're probably tired of hearing that because I have used it a lot lately but it's, it is my go-to at the moment and it fits so well into my decor. I applied only one coat. This video is also part of a challenge, Try It Tuesday. And it is hosted by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. And her co host for this month is Christy at Christy Creates. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links down in my description box to their channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. I have already attached the boards on the back side with a small enough screw so it wouldn't peer through on the, the front. It is now time to attach the handles and I have already drilled a small hole big enough for the screw to fit through but uh, I also need to make a bigger hole just halfway through because uh, I need to put in the screw head longer because the screws are not long enough and once I'm done I'm just sanding off any ugliness on the back there then it's time to put the handles in place just be sure to measure correctly because if you don't it's very hard to attach them in this project uh, I did well but I have learned the hard way so measure exactly where you need to drill the holes for the handles now I am measuring in between the handles I want to find the center because I will make my tic-tac-toe game board there in the center so I will use the boards that I already have the size of them and then I will make two vertical grooves in my piece so it will create that tic-tac-toe pattern And then I take my piece out and have my grinder to do the groove for me. You can easily paint this as well. You don't need to use a tool specially for this. But it was easy and it looks very rustic. And once I'm done, 
I just put pads on the back so it won't scratch the surface it will sit on later. Now I will take a black acrylic paint and I will fill in the grooves so they will be seen and I will do that in between the boards as you see me do there as well so you can see the game board properly. The tic-tac-toe tray is complete and now it's time to make the pawns and uh, I will use some sunflowers and I will put magnets on them and I have these tiny magnets already I will turn them into bumblebees. I figured they could sit on the handles when you're not playing. I have this flat magnet that I will use, cut it in four and then I cut off as much as possible underneath the flower. I want it as flat as possible, hot glue it into place et voila. And I use the same procedure with all the flowers, just cutting off everything underneath there, make it as flat as possible and hot glue it together again. So I take out these uh, tiny bumblebees and uh, I will spray paint them one coat in the matte black spray paint. Once they are dried, it's time to make yellow stripes and I did two coats of that. They look so chubby these ones so I made them into bumblebees and not bees. I had some white flowers in my stash so I'm just uh, taking them apart and cutting out the petals because I will use the petals as the wings for my bumblebees and I attach the wings with uh, just some hot glue two on each side of the little bumblebee like so and I will do that with all of them Then I decided to go over the yellow stripes with some golden color. You will still see the yellow, but it will be a little shimmer on them. And then it's time with some white acrylic to make some cute little eyes. Dotting the white on and once that has set for a little while I take some black acrylic and a even tinier dot with that and the bumblebees are ready for a game of tic-tac-toe and here it is sitting in my living room with a view onto my little backyard it looks lovely, I think. Very rustic, very summery. And the bees and the sunflowers that you don't use, they're just put aside on the handles. And they are so cute. They are adorable, so chubby. The tray will probably sit out all year round, but I will change out the pawns according to season. 
Second DIY, I found this cute little gnome and it's beehive summer inspired. I will leave a link to knitting by Ekaterina in my description box. I start off with the beehive and I will use this little glass jar and a piece of foam and I will put that foam piece on top just with the help of some hot glue and then I will just cut it in the shape that I want it. I just want the rounded top of this piece and once I'm done it's time to put on the jute twine. So I will cover the whole piece with jute twine. On the top I start off with a little hanger and then I just work my way around. It took a while but it's therapeutic almost. Just working my way down the piece once I had completed the piece all the way down, I worked my way up again to fill in certain areas a little bit extra so I get the shape that I want. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, trash to treasure, thrift flips, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. It is now time to make the opening on my beehive and I take some nautical rope and uh, make a circle of it just with some hot glue like that and then I hot glue it onto the beehive itself. Once that is done, I take some black acrylic paint and fill in the inner circle to make it look like an opening. And I have some wood plugs from IKEA that I will use as my bees. So I start out by painting them, two of them, in the same black acrylic paint. And once they are dry, I take some yellow paint and paint my stripes and turn them into little bees. And I will set them aside to dry for a little bit. And I take some flowers that I will embellish the beehive with three of them but before I attach them I will complete the bees and I have uh, some petals two on each bee that will be the wings like that and then it's time to put them onto the beehive so just with a dab of hot glue, I put them where I want them, like that. And then it's time to attach the flowers. And the beehive is complete. It is time for the gnome. I have a sock, a clean one, and some sand and some pillow stuffing and some faux fur for the beard and a few things for the hat. So starting off by filling a plastic bag with the sand, close it properly and then fold it and put it in the bottom of my gnome and fill out the rest with some pillow stuffing. And once I am happy with the size thickness of my little gnome. I will close my sock with some jute twine. Mm -hmm. 
and it's time for the beard and I will use that light part there and I put it upside down and make tiny tiny cuts with my scissors to avoid cutting the actual fur just cutting the backing once I'm happy with the size of the beard I just cut out a little triangle on the top part so it can fit around the nose of the gnome so before I attach the beard and the moustache it's time to put a wooden bead as a nose just with some hot glue and I hot glue the beard into place as well and the moustache like so now it's time for the hat have this green fabric it's not the same as the inspiration piece but it will fit into my decor I have these pipe cleaners that I just put on top of the gnome so the hat will uh, be able to stand upright or be bent if I want to so I just hot glue it together pleat it on the top there and once I am done I just turn it right side out and uh, put it on the gnome start off around the nose with some hot glue and then a tiny tab on the back as well to keep it in place like that take some jute ribbon and I put it on the top I will use the same jute ribbon around the hat as well like you see me do here just hot gluing it into place and cut off the excess and I will put the same kind of flowers that I used for the beehive I will put on the hat of the gnome three of them as well And then the final touch will be a small tassel made of some jute twine. Just put it together quickly, cut off the excess to make it nice and neat and then hot glue it into place on the top of the hat of my gnome and my first ever summer gnome is complete and here is how they turned out they're just sitting on the floor at the moment but I will put them into place once I show you up close how they turned out looking pretty I think I love gnomes so what can go wrong if you like this video and videos like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos And here they are sitting together with my first creation of today. Tell me what you think. Did you have a favorite of uh, my DIYs today? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more inspiration straight away, just head on over to my description box and click the link to the challenge playlist.
If you want more of my inspiration, just click the DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.